Hey guys, greetings here, it's Stiggy from the Guitar Loft and welcome to another video. Um, I've had a bit of a couple of days off because I've had a bit of the flu, you can probably hear it still in my voice, but I'm ready and kicking to get back to it again. So today, um, it occurred to me a little bit that I have neglected uh, you proper guitar builders out there. Uh, people, I've done a lot of upgrades and budget upgrades and stuff like that and guitar upkeep. Um, so I thought I'd do something a little tiny bit different today. Uh, just a quick heads up and thanks to James Hart for uh, adding me to the uh, Google Plus Guitar Builders Forum. Uh, some nice guys on there, so if you're not a member, get yourself down to there. It's Google Plus uh, Guitar Member uh, Guitar Builders Forum. Anyway, uh, and this is mainly for you guys and, and a couple of other questions that have been asked. Um, and this is called the Tangent Line Theory and it's, it's for fret positioning. Um, quite a daunting prospect for somebody if you're building your own neck or your first guitar or something like that but I'll tell you it's not okay if you use a fret calculator and some other uh, some other ways of doing it then yeah it can be but I'm going to show you a way that it is right to do it if you, uh, you you're a bit scared of doing it the other way um, like I said you can get fret calculators you can get books you can get all sorts but they generally go into like four decimal places um, and measuring that kind of stuff is a bit of a nightmare but what you can do, uh, you can do it with things like this, uh, a ruler, a pencil, yes, a pencil, again, uh, a compass and a square. And you'll need some paper and a flat surface. So, it all runs off scale length. Uh, scale length is the distance between your intonation line at your bridge and your nut all the way. Um, what you're going to need to do is strap a couple of pieces together. Um, or some cardboard or whatever you've got. I, I like nice clean paper like this. I'm going to do a shortened version so I can get it in focus because my viewfinder is not that wide. So if it's a Stratocaster it's 25.5 inches. Um, you know it's up to you. You know you can use a 25.5 Stratocaster scale length and put more frets on it. It's up to you but you might have a specific one that you want to do. So all you've got to do is literally I'm trying not to get my fuzzy wug in here because I'm having a bad hair day. Or the lack of it. Draw yourself a line. That, obviously yours will be longer. That represents, hopefully I can try and get it, there we go. That represents your, uh, your scale length. Put yourself a big line at the top. That is going to be your nut line. And then a smaller line so it does a cross at the bottom and that is going to be your bridge <coughs> now remember point your pencils guys because it's really important point you the pencil the more accurate it is uh, trust me on this one so get your compass if you have a measurement that you like or a guitar that you like that's already got a nice um, first fret size uh, you can use that if you want to put your tip against the at the very edge in the very corner of your uh, nut on the fretboard and then put the pencil tip right at, right into the middle of the fret the middle of the fret not the edge of the fret the middle of the fret okay so I'm going to exaggerate this or if you've already got something written down or of this kind of size of your first nut that you want off the internet or something or out of a book then you can use that but so I'm going to use five centimeters I'm sorry guys if you're in America or somewhere that uses inches but I am English, so get you measure it out. It's got to be accurate, guys. I'm going to exaggerate it so you guys can see it. So I'm going to use five centimeters. And your first line is going to be put your your pointer line, your point right into the corner, and draw yourself an angle or a radius down and across. I'm trying not to wiggle this camera. Then get yourself your square and draw a line. And if you can, make sure it's accurate and try and extend it past a little bit as well. At this point, obviously that measurement and that measurement are going to be the same. You need to get it helps to have a big long ruler here, guys, if you're doing a full scale length one. Yes, length is important. You're getting told that. Take your ruler and take your line from the very top where that cross is down to the very cross at the bottom of your scale length. 
obviously yours will be a lot bigger. There we go. Right, so now we should have a triangle. And the next bit to calculate your next fret is this. Pointer right into the corner at the bottom, pointy pencil right into the corner at the top. Hold your your compass into the bottom and down. Get your line, get your square up there, draw a line, get your compass again from that bottom corner up to where that line crosses and that's the tangent, hence the tangent line theory for guitars. Make sure I got that right. Slipping and sliding on this paper, guys. And down. Get your square out. Yet again, bottom corner. Up to your tangent line. And down square out again. Now this is a bit monotonous guys and a tiny bit boring but it's important to get it right. This looks a bit odd because I'm only doing I'm doing a massive fret and I'm also doing a short scale length but it gives you the idea. Okay. Down and around and there we go. So there we go. We've got five frets done. And then basically all you do is you continue all the way down. Um, if you're doing 22, 24, oh, 21, 22, 24, 30, you know, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. The principle's the same. From as long as you've got one line here, uh, all the way up to your, um, all the way up to your intonation line, and you do that theory all the way down. You can cut this piece out. That's why I said extend them a little bit here. Use a sharp pencil, and then you can scribe them onto your new neck piece if you need to okay so nice and easy nice and quick with some basic tools there's no need to use a fret calculator that's going to boggle your head because believe me it will um four decimal places is something that only maths teachers and geniuses need apply for so there you go that's it do that one line along your scale length down to your intonation however many that you want you just continue it along and there's your frets guys it's as easy as that i've been stiggy thanks for tuning in look after yourself if you've got any problems or you've got any questions or anything like that stick them in the comments section below i'd love to hear from you um and you know hit me up hit subscribe and tune in for some more videos look after yourselves guys see you soon